Welcome back to the channel everyone, this is Cole Matt here, and in today's episode we're going to be answering the question, which multi-tool is best suited for your playstyle? Let's get right into it. And for the purpose of this video, we will be using the base model Sentinel as our reference point for damage taken. So first up on the list, we have the Neutron Cannon. I feel that the Neutron Cannon is best suited for anyone who likes long to mid-range fights. I would say it does work well at close range as well. However, you need charge shots in order to do the big damage. So you definitely want to have time to charge up those shots, and I feel close range doesn't give you that. The pros of this weapon is that it does recharge with carbon, so instead of the projectile ammunition, so that's a big plus. It can damage multiple targets at the same time, which is also another big plus. And I just think that this is the most fun weapon to use. I know that one's kind of subjective, but fun to use is going to be the last pro. Now on to the cons. Really the only con I can think of with this weapon is the fact that it does take a few seconds to charge the shot. Now in the video in a second whenever I do test this weapon, it does have S-Class upgrades. They're not min-max, they're just standard S-Class upgrades. So you definitely can get it a little bit better, but keep in mind this is not stock footage of the weapon. And so for damage numbers on the Neutron can, we're going to go ahead and just charge this up, get kind of a mid-range shot. And you can see we got 2013, so it took two shots to take that guy out. Really, it could have took one charged and one not charged. Up next, we have the Bolt Caster. The Bolt Caster, I would say, is best suited, again, for anyone mid to long range. This weapon does also shine very well at short range, though. The pros of the Bolt Caster are that you don't have to go to the Anomaly, it is unlocked right away, you just have to craft it on your multi-tool. And the only other pro that I would be able to think of is that this weapon's bullets travel immediately to the target. You'll see later once we go to some other weapons that it does take a few seconds to get there. So we're going to go ahead and test this out now on this Sentinel. And you can see there it just took a few seconds, it was about four to 500 damage per shot. So you can see a very good weapon to use. Up next, we're going to have the Blaze Javelin, possibly one of the most hated weapons in the No Man's Sky community, and I can't really see why, especially with the newest buffs that it's received. So the Blaze Javelin, I would best describe as a sniper rifle. It is used best at long range, but can be used at mid-range. This isn't really something I would even consider taking into short-range combat. The pros of the Blaze Javelin are that it has pretty high base damage, even without upgrades, so once you install it, you can already do a decent amount of damage. With the new buffs, you actually can shock the enemies as well, which can actually pair really well with the new Voltaic Amplifier as well, which causes extra damage to stun targets. Now the cons of this weapon definitely have to be the fact that it does take so long to charge a shot, and sometimes it won't even kill in one shot. And the only other con I could think of is that it does run out of ammo super fast. Now a pro that I forgot to list is that this weapon does run off of carbon, so you don't have to use projectile ammunition. But keep in mind, you will run through carbon super fast. You'll see that here in just a few seconds. So we're going to go ahead and charge this shot up. And this is a fully charged shot. We're going to go ahead and shoot this guy. And you can see 3,179 damage. It was a one shot. But it does take a few seconds to charge that shot up. So if you like playing the sniper role, definitely consider giving this weapon a try. I always like to throw this on as just a secondary weapon to my main weapon. Uh, because definitely the Blaze Javelin is a really good weapon. Especially with that new stun effect. Up next we have the Scatter Blaster. I would best categorize this as a shotgun for your multi-tool. So definitely keep that in mind when using it. You want to use this at close range. You can use it at mid-range, but the damage starts to fall off very fast after close range. The pros of the Scatter Blaster is that it has insanely high damage, especially at that close range. You can reload this gun really fast, as well as it can hold a lot of ammo in the capacity. As for the cons of this weapon, I would say the biggest con is the fact that you have to be so close in order to do damage, as well as the fact you can run out of ammo super fast through this weapon. It'll eat through your ammo. Another con that I want to throw in here, especially after using the Neutron Cannon, is that this definitely doesn't do the area of effect damage that you get with the Neutron Cannon. So if there was multiple Sentinels side by side, it's not going to hurt all of them. It's only going to hurt the one that I'm shooting at, whereas the Neutron Cannon would shoot all around. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and test this out on this guy here. So you can see just two shots there. I didn't really get a chance to see the damage numbers, but you see how fast that was. Again, it's a space shotgun, so the further away you are, the less damage you're going to do. And last but not least, we have a personal favorite of mine, which is the Pulse Spitter. I would best categorize the Pulse Spitter as the SMG for your multi-tool. You definitely want to go mid to close range with this weapon as well. You can shoot long range, however, this does take the bullets do take a considerable amount of time to reach the target at a longer range, so definitely keep that in mind. Now, as for pros of this weapon, I would have to go as follows. 
we have the fact that you can ignite targets on fire if you get the upgrade. Now these do have all the upgrades that you can get both S class as well as any upgrades that are available on the space anomaly. And that was for every weapon that I've listed here today. The next big pro is that it does do damage super fast. So eliminating the sentinels is a very, is very easy with this weapon. I would say probably one of the easiest as far as getting rid of a, a big patch of them. Now the scatter blaster, I believe is still the fastest to eliminate a sentinel right away, but this one can eliminate a patch of them with ease. The big cons of this weapon definitely have to be the fact that it does shoot through ammo super fast. So you want to make sure that you have a surplus of this on you and it does use projectile ammunition. Everything listed today besides the Neutron Cannon and the Blaze Javelin runoff projectile ammunition. Another big con is that it does take the bullets a few seconds to reach the target. So you can see here, I'll go ahead and just shoot a few test shots. It like You can see that they don't hit the target immediately, whereas the bolt caster was instantaneous. We'll go ahead and test this out here on the final target. And as you can see, he's gone. I didn't even have to land the last few shots on him. You could see there the fire damage ended up taking out the rest of his life. That's one of my favorite things about this weapon. Now a few other key points I wanted to just go ahead and make before we end the video is that I would definitely pair these weapons together. So in my instance I would normally pair the Pulse Spitter with the Neutron Cannon or the Pulse Spitter with the Blaze Javelin because you're going to have room for two weapons. Might as well go ahead and use them. Now the only exception I'll make for that is the Bolt Caster. By the time you have your three upgrades and then your three Sentinel upgrades a lot of times you're not going to have enough room for two max weapons. So definitely keep that in mind. It all depends on how you want to play the game and what you want on your multi-tool. But just a tip that I've learned is some multi-tools are going to be better for certain cases. So definitely keep that in mind. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like. If you enjoy the content on the channel, definitely consider subscribing. It really helps me out and keeps me motivated to keep doing what I'm doing. Without any further ado, peace out.